hanging out inside the Rockford Public Library. We're at the first floor gallery with Leanne Wright, who is the head curator at Veterans Memorial Hall. And you were the leading force behind this exhibit, right? Yes, <laughs> yes. So tell us a little bit about it. Well, it all started with an exhibit we have in our building right now of a family that was very involved in our building and veterans organizations. And one of the sisters who's up there on that wall <laughs> was a librarian at the original Carnegie Library for 40 years. So how did you bring the story you wanted to tell here to the library to the gallery? They asked me to do it. <laughs> they asked me to do the exhibit and I said, well, I don't know much about the library, but I do know we have a lot of ties yeah. to the library. So I can put something together for you that shows the ties between the two buildings. And there's some other um, local partners that yeah. are a part of this too that contributed to it. Yes, Robert Tinker from Tinker Cottage was the landscape architect for both of these buildings when they were built. Elias Cosper, who they call the father of the library, started a subscription library in the 1850s. And when the Civil War came in the 1860s, nobody wanted to pay for a subscription library. So they auctioned off the books. Robert Tinker bought the books. Okay. So we have some of the actual books from the 1860s cool that Robert Tinker bought from the original subscription library. And they were nice enough to loan those to us and let us put them in the exhibit. Pretty cool. Over there, I see some old looking things too. Is that a camera? It is a camera. It is one of the Van Duzers was a famous nature photographer. Uh, he unfortunately passed away during World War I on the southern border. But that is an 1816, 1916 camera. So that's the type of camera he would have been using out around the river here in town, sure. photographing birds and nature. But then there's also this. So tell me what we can do and interactively learn here on the screen. We partnered with Engine Studios here in Rockford and they put together things that we couldn't put on here. Sure. So you can, for probably about 70 years, we've done the parade and they've done the sinking of the ship, which always takes place in the river behind the library. They used to literally sink the ship and go diving and pull it up, wow. but now the fire department makes them do it with a rope. And these are vintage reels back to, I think one of them's from 1939 wow. and one of them's from 1937. So there's, and there's a lot of categories here. Mm -hmm. You can actually learn things, which, I'm sure all this information was in the library before, or was it not? It was a way to see it, but now it's now it's a right bit here more for fun. you. It's easier to get to. There's a shared history where the city argued for two years on where these two buildings were going to be built. Um, unfortunately, unfortunately, the gentleman who had the final say in where Memorial Hall was going to be built actually said he wouldn't take this property because of the stink and it would take a hundred years to get rid of it from the original coal plant that was on this oh, property. The smell? Which is why we now have this gorgeous, beautiful new library. <laughs> smells good in here. All right, so Bridget, of course, you are, now this is your home. Now you live in this building. We live here. <laughs> basically, and you guys are doing something pretty cool to celebrate 815 Day this right. week. Right, I mean, just, we really want people to feel comfortable coming in to explore their library and really to enjoy all of our brick and mortar locations. So we will be inviting everyone to come to any of our locations with the collection. So Montague Branch, East Branch, or Downtown Maine. And join us, we'll have spots of our library set up to read for eight minutes and 15 seconds. Love it. Everyone can spare eight <laughs> minutes and 15 seconds, and then we will reward them with a button, a Cute. commemorative button, saying that they hashtag read eight minutes and 15 <laughs> seconds. And we want everyone to post about it, that they hashtag read 815 at RPL, and we would love to share that. It's so fun. I have, you know, I've been doing this in my reading room. Oh, I'm so, so excited. Now yeah. I'm like the queen of measuring. Like, all I do is I hit like my little stopwatch on my phone, and then I read. And so I'm like, oh, eight minutes and 15 seconds. You we can, can do all that. do that. Absolutely. <laughs> It'll be a blast. We have more 815 Day fun next. And Mahoney giving us an 815 Day history lesson. We'll be right back.